Hi! This is the second part of this video. Today, we'll be answering more questions about the Form I-485 for Adjustment of Status. Let's check them out. Will the 90-day rule apply to Adjustment of Status applicants? Yes, the 90-day rule will apply. In most cases where the marriage-based green card applicant is eligible for a green card but holds a temporary single-intent visa, then the 90-day rule will still apply. This rule is a guideline for USCIS to determine whether or not a non-immigrant of lawful status may have misrepresented their intentions when applying for their temporary visa. Some temporary visas are a single intent visa, which cannot be used to permanently immigrate and relocate to the United States. If the marriage-based green card applicant possesses a temporary visa that does not have a dual intent, allowing for immigration to the United States, then the applicant should closely pay attention to the 90-day rule. What is the process for adjustment of status? Although the adjustment of status can be straightforward, there are specific wait times and important procedures to keep in mind. The first one is to check if the marriage-based green card applicant is qualified and eligible to apply for a green card. Then, the main sponsor will file the appropriate sponsorship form, such as For marriage-based green card applicants, the main sponsor will file form I-130, which is the petition for alien relative. For employment-based green card applicants, form I-140 for immigrant petition for alien workers should be used. For humanitarian-based green card applicants, form I-730 or refugee asylee relative petition should be used. Then, you must wait for the availability of green card depending on the home country of the applicant, current circumstances, and green card category. After that, file form I-485. Then, file form I-131, which is the application for travel document. Should the applicant wish to travel during the green card application? Plus, the applicant must wait for the acceptance of form I-485 and fingerprinting appointment and sometimes additional biometric appointments, which will be mailed to you. Then the applicant must attend the green card interview and of course receive either approval letter or denial letter or request for additional information through request for evidence or RFE. How long will the adjustment of status take? There can be many factors that will affect the approval time using the adjustment of status. The factors that will affect the time frame will be whether the main sponsor is a U.S. citizen or a U.S. green card holder, where the applicant resides, and the availability of a green card depending on your immigration status. In general, the following times can be expected for a marriage green card applicant. If the marriage-based green card applicant is married to a U.S. citizen, then the wait time will be of 10 to 13 months. If the marriage-based green card applicant is married to a U.S. green card holder, then the wait time will be of 29 to 38 months. And finally, where can you check the status of your AOS? After submitting your form I-485, it can be a long time waiting for updates from the USCIS. In order to make this process easier, the applicant may check the status of the application on the USCIS website. Furthermore, lovely USCIS case tracker app will also give you real-time updates and statuses on your application. You can download it on the App Store or Google Play. Plus, using it is super simple. You only need to create an account, add your case number, and start tracking. And this is it for today, but don't forget to leave your questions in the comments below. See ya!